Ugly Truth coming to you live from Toronto, Young and Dundas Square. It is Sunday, March the 11th, 2012. And we have a uh, fantastic turnout here in Toronto. Canadians uh, all over are now calling for justice for an inquiry into the last election scandal and basically a uh, by-election in all the affected ridings to get the uh, accurate results and find out who really should have won and who our Prime Minister should be uh, because the Conservative government obviously uh, engaged in dishonest uh, tactics. You know, we're, we're supposed to be a, a democracy here in Canada and we certainly have the illusion of choice but when governments do these kinds of things this is the kind of thing you see in third world countries where uh, armed guards will be stationed at polling stations to deter voters from going in to vote. Basically, if you try to vote, you're going to get shot. Of course, they can't get away with that in Canada. What they did on the sly was hired these companies to basically make calls to Canadians, uh, specifically people who are not of the conservative uh, persuasion, and to mislead them that their polling station had been chained, removing their ability and right to vote. Uh, so they can rig the election. So in Canada, if we're going to keep our democracy here, if we love our freedom here, it's time to stand up and oppose this. We have people of all political stripes here. We have, I, I know a few conservatives. I come from St. Catharines. It's a conservative city, and so half my friends are conservative. And even they, even they know that nothing Nothing like voter suppression can ever be tolerated. Regardless of who caused it, if it was the Liberals or the NDP or the Conservatives, whoever caused it must be held to the full accountability of the law. The government is still being allowed to pass Bill C-30. How the hell, how the hell can they be allowed to pass Bill C-30, the warrantless spy bill, where every single Canadian will be allowed to be spied on? without a warrant. They got themselves into Parliament, ostensibly, illegitimately, through voter suppression or voter fraud by whoever did it, and they're still passing laws that will take away our fundamental right to privacy. We need an inquiry now. We need accountability, and including the criminal indictment of Stephen Harper himself. Faces of true Canadians who care about the future of their democracy. democracy looks like? Show them what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This was a systemic attack on Canadians' confidence to vote. 31,000 calls across Canada. These are robocalls that gave misinformation to Canadians to go to different polling stations. That's not just dirty tricks. That's a criminal offense under the Canadian Elections Act. This government wants to build super jails when crime rates are at their lowest point in 29 years. Time Canadians are not apathetic any longer. It's about time we start raising up our voices. We have voices to speak. To speak out in a democracy, the freedom of assembly and the freedom of speech. And those were violated. At Do you care about your future? Yes! Do you care about your right to vote? Yes! We're going to show that we are not going to be silent any longer. And that's why it's a beautiful day here in Toronto. It's a beautiful day across Canada. And we hope that this is the beginning of a Canadian spring. A cause for action. That's the, the staple of a democracy, is standing up and having your voices heard. No matter what they do to you, no matter if they attack you, you keep standing up. You know, they will use psychological tactics against us. They will try to threaten us if we go to a protest. They'll have surveillance on us. They'll try to prohibit you from going out to a protest and make you seem like a radical or an extremist. You know, this is a systemic attack on our democracy. And we are the majority once again. And let's continue our fight for country, our country, Canada. We thank you for bringing out your flags. I just want to say, 
Give yourselves a big round of applause for supporting this country, supporting this cause, supporting this rally against the Harper regime. Over 30,000 complaints to elections, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to stand up for the rights of other Canadians. Every other city across this great country is doing what you're doing right now, today. Let everybody know, we won't stand for the Harper regime. This is election fraud. We want a public inquiry. We want the RCMP to look into this. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we want? A new election. When do we want it? Now. When do we want? A new when do we want it? Now. All right, this is a little something I wrote. It's called School of Thought. Can everyone say School of Thought? School of Thought. Fate, destiny, and karma guide my faith. Kindness and love at the center of my base. If the whole world cared, wouldn't it be great? Justice and peace across the province and state. I have a dream the ever famous words, now seldom lived and seldom ever heard. This doesn't mean it can't be my reality. We are all equal, but not equally free. Freedom is not given when we enter this world. It is given out differently to boys and girls. Even more is divided based on your spiritual voice. As you get older, there is but one sexual choice. Prepare to strip your freedom if you choose the wrong one. Forget about equal opportunity when you come from the slum. It's hard to be smart when we're taught to be dumb. Brainwashed by mass media since we are young. She's a slut, he's a fag, that man's a terrorist. Ignore the school of hate, class dismissed. Speak with your heart and let the truth be heard. What is violence when I have the power of my word? We're going to be going to the Cenotaph at Old City Hall, a justice house, because we demand justice into our tainted election. C'est nécessaire qu'on ait de la justice parce que notre élection a été gagnée par la fraude. On besoin une enquête maintenant. In case you don't know, the government was held for contempt of parliament for that last thing. The first government in the entire British Commonwealth to be charged, first government, the entire government, the first entire government to be charged with contempt of democracy, contempt of parliament. Shame! Shame. We require an inquiry explaining how six million phone calls went out immediately leading up to the last election that lied to voters about where their voter booth was and pretended to be from Elections Canada. Whoever engaged those services to lie to voters must be held accountable and criminally charged, including the Prime Minister himself, if he is accountable. Fraudulent election in question. Canadians, please wake up. 
is the last election was fraudulently won and that makes the government illegitimate. illegitimate. They do not have the moral authority to govern and we must have an inquiry. We must have accountability. This is happening in 30 cities, Canada-wide, ladies and gentlemen, Canada-wide. Canadians are speaking up that we will not engage or be a part of election fraud. in which the last election was stolen. Yeah! Brothers and sisters, I want to make a confession. I did not think that I would see the day in Canada when we would have to protest in the streets of Toronto and other cities that our elections have been stolen. You know, this Prime Minister spent $18 billion of Canadian taxpayers' money, and I'm talking about billion with a B in Afghanistan to deliver democracy. Well, now we know what kind of democracy this Prime Minister delivered to Afghanistan. Because in 2009, Hamid Karzai had stolen the election in Afghanistan. So we stand here, and as you know, right now, in the Middle East, people are sacrificing their lives by the thousands to have the right to vote and for freedom. If we are not careful, our rights will be stolen away in the same manner. We have to act for the kind of future that we want for our children. They're going to inherit what we do or what we don't do today. So we must stand up for an honest government, a government we have elected, because without that we won't get the government we need for peace and justice. So let's make this a democracy we can be proud of and let's make this a future that is good for all of us, whatever gender, and for all of our children and for the whole planet. Thank you everyone. This is a grassroots movement yes. standing up to the tyrant in Ottawa yes. to say, not in our name, you steal our votes yes. and you have a phony election. Yes. When you hear Stephen Harper next time talking about democracy, tell him, Steve, shut the hell up. Yeah. 1.2 billion dollars to oppress Canadians during the G8. More than 18 billion dollars spent on the war in Afghanistan. Thank, thank 
with me how many Canadians will have houses and roofs over their head. So in the early, we had Occupy movement, and now we have this grassroots movement, and hope that we will stand together, shoulder to shoulder, to finally, for a day when we can say we have a Canadian revolution for real democracy, for real social programs, and for all of us. Thank you, solidarity forever. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Hello, my name is Lexi Cameron, and I'm with an organization called Defend Canadians Defending Democracy. We're a network of individuals from all across Canada, and we initially came together after Stephen Harper's second prorogation of Parliament. We were an offshoot of the group Canadians Against Proroguing Parliament, and our Facebook groups are Crush and CDD. Do we have any crushers here today? <laughs> Over the past two years, we became alarmed at the methods that Mr. Harper and his government employ to advance their goals. So after a ton of research, we developed a website pointing out just how far apart Mr. Harper's government was from his 2006 campaign promise of a transparent and accountable government. And that that website became known as unseatharper.ca. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. What, uh, Christopher, you're, you're going to be running, I guess. Uh, why don't you tell us about where you're running and uh, a bit about your plan? I'm running right now in the Toronto Danforth by-election for Jack Layton's old seat. The Canadian Action Party believes that uh, Canada needs to be reformed through monetary reform, going back to the Bank of Canada and putting the power of money creation back into the hands of the Canadians as it was for many years before the 70s. And the other issue facing this country is political reform. We need more direct democracy. We need more accountability held by the citizens. And we need uh, citizens more involved on in all levels of government and have a chance to put their concerns into votes. And that's what needs to happen. Thank you again for your time and uh, for coming out to support democracy and fair elections. Uh, any last words, Lawrence? Uh, I, I think that uh, Harper ought to call some by-elections and uh, come clean and make this system fair again before he ends up with his head on the end of a stick. My name's, my name's Matthew. I'm uh, the campaigns director with leadnow.ca. We're an online advocacy organization. We've got, we just last week passed 100,000 members all across the country. Coast to coast to coast, Canadians are coming together to work together on a range of issues. Democracy is at the core of everything we do. So we have to have confidence that our votes count. Over the last few weeks, we've seen some immensely disturbing allegations emerge that make it look like we had systematic fraud in the last election. I've seen some, some signs around talking about dirty tricks. This isn't dirty tricks. What we've seen over the last few weeks is evidence of systematic fraud. And like the previous speaker said, we've got to remember that the majority government that Stephen Harper enjoys at the moment rests on a knife edge. There were 6,000 votes in 14 key ridings that handed him his majority. Now I ask you, do you think 250,000 robocalls might have distracted or confused 6,000 elderly Canadians? Yeah. We need serious consequences. If you get caught, if you get caught stealing a car, you don't get to keep the car. <laughs> Many people died from where I came from just to give a lesson to governments that want to tell them that the power of the people will prevail one day. Um, my my message for the governments is that 
never underestimate a demonstration, never underestimate a legitimate dem demands of the people. Yes! A violation of human rights, a violation of elections, fraud, will never fall. The people will hold it up against the governments. And one day, you will be questioned for it. Yes! In 2010, the elections fraud in Egypt led, few few months later, led to a revolution that brought down the regime. Yes! I'm here to take my lovely Canadian wife back to, uh, to Egypt to continue the struggle against a new, um, a new regime that is trying to take back um, the power, the military council. What? It's time to wake up. It's time to speak up. It's time to stand up with our raised hands up. It's time to wake up. I feel the wind as it blows.